You've certainly noticed that almost all RF and microwave systems and interconnections have 50 ohm characteristic impedance. In this section, we want to look into this in more detail and understand why 50 ohm characteristic impedance is the standard for RF and microwave interconnections. This standard goes back to developing air filled coax cables for kilowatt radio transmitters in the 1930s. Low losses and high transmission power are necessary to allow a signal to travel long distances. As we will see shortly, we can't optimize both low losses and high power handling capability simultaneously. Therefore, we will need to find a compromise between these two criteria, which results in the standard 50 ohm characteristic impedance. For an air field coax, it can be shown that the characteristic impedance of 77 ohms minimizes the losses. This plot shows the transmission loss versus characteristic impedance. We see that the minimum happens at 77 ohms. We can also show that a characteristic impedance of 30 ohms maximizes the power handling capability. This plot shows how much power a coax cable can handle at each characteristic impedance. We see that the characteristic impedance of 30 ohms maximizes the power handling capability. To find a compromise between the low transmission loss and high power handling capability, we can take the average of the corresponding characteristic impedances. With engineering round off, this results in a characteristic impedance of 50 ohms.